Victory. After nearly a month of travel at the speed of light, the James Webb Space Telescope reached its destination. One million miles away from Earth, beyond the moon, it's there. It's going to explore the depths of the cosmos and send back pictures so we can all see them. The powerful device could help paint a clearer picture, they say, of how galaxies came into being, how we all got here. Let's bring in Dr. Leroy Chow again tonight, former NASA astronaut and International Space Station Commander. Dr. Chow, the Webb Space Telescope is now a million miles away. What did $10 billion buy us? This is a very exciting event. The Webb Space Telescope is the by far the most uh, incredible you know, astronomical device that we've created, and it's going to bring back unprecedented uh, details and and things, uh, you know, discoveries that uh, we can't even imagine yet. And so this is a huge deal because, yes, it costs a lot of money. It's way over what it was originally supposed to cost. It took way longer to create and, you know, had a lot of um, obstacles to overcome even after launch. There were so many things that had to go right. The mirrors have to deploy. It's not out of the woods yet. It's still got a lot of, you know, several months of calibrations and adjustments going on. But once it gets uh, all set up, it's going to make these observations almost to the edge of the Big Bang, you know, near the periphery of where things actually started uh, some 13.7 billion light years away. And that's what so many of us want to know, because we all have this feeling of how the universe began. Some of it's religious. For some people, it's not. But we'd love to have the scientific portion of that as well. Even if you think God started this whole thing in motion, he was the Big Bang, to actually be able to pinpoint it would be cool. So we're not going to get that answer from Webb? The uh, the Big Bang. So, you know, most scientists agree that the Big Bang is probably how the universe started. It's hard to wrap your, your head around that before the Big Bang, there was absolutely nothing. And then suddenly at a singularity, at, a, at an infinitely small point in uh, space, uh, everything started, you know. And uh, so that's been expanding out for the last 13 point whatever, 8 uh, billion years uh, since we uh, estimate the Big Bang began. So what the telescope allows us to do is look back that far and therefore be able to see what's going on uh, now, you know, in, uh, in those billions of, of light years away. And uh, that's why it's these, these telescopes are sometimes referred to as time machines. Mm. The technology is just astounding here. You talked about the reflectors. I, I read, I think Yahoo had it, that it's something like a gold reflector the size of a football field. It says it can detect the heat of a bumblebee from where we are to the moon. The deep right, this is the most 25 miles away. How this is incredible. It's an amazing observatory. The uh, it's it's also v very uh, different from other observatories that it's designed to look uh, specifically at the infrared spectrum, which is basically heat, right? And so the mirrors are being cooled cryogenically with cryofluids, so bring brought down to a very 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 low temperature, so it can make these observations uh, of of heat signatures so far away, you know, 13 or more billions uh, of light years away. When do we start getting pictures back? Hopefully, uh, right around the summertime, we'll start getting the first results and images back from the James Webb. So uh, very exciting stuff. I started out thinking, cool. Now I'm feeling like, can't wait. Dr. Leroy Chow, as always, thank you for coming on. I will see you for sure this summer, if not before then, as we start to get this uh, data rolling in. Sounds great. Thank you.